guys. So later today we're attending an accurate seminar, which should be a fun event. You guys know about that already. Um, but we figured it was appropriate. To just we're going to give you a general overview of all the accurate reels we use, real quick. Hey guys, first I want to give you a general overview on, on Accurate, and we've been using Accurate fishing reels for about a year and a half, so it's, you know, so we're pretty familiar with them, and we've uh, used them uh, quite a bit. Uh, the main thing is they're built, built in the U.S., they're based in California, and they originally started as a, an aerospace machine company, and so the reels are made to you know, some real tight tolerances, and they really know what they're doing with that. Uh, and the other main thing about Accurate is, of course, is twin drag. We're known for twin drag. That means they have two uh, drag washers on them, one on top and one on the bottom, or or one on each side, one here and one here. That allows it to be much smoother because of course the drag is, is, is pressuring on both sides instead of just one where it might just go like this, the spool. And also they can make them smaller because two drag washers, uh, you can have two small ones instead of one big one, you can make the reel smaller. So that, that's a general overview and uh, we're back to Darcy. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the SR6 really quick. This is a reel that I have used the most and has got the most wear and tear. And I've caught a ton of fish on this reel. I absolutely love it. I have caught from sailfish to largemouth bass to huge snook to dolphin. I mean, everything in the ocean, you name it, I've caught it on this reel. It's a really sweet, little, awesome reel. All right, next we got up is the Valiant or the BV300. Uh, this is a great little reel from Accurate. They're, they're really selling well lately. You can see it's teeny but it's got two drag washers. It's got a ton of drag. This is a great reel. We use it for trolling uh, lures. We use it for jigging. Uh, it doesn't have a huge spool, so it doesn't have a ton of line capacity, but it's a really great little reel and, and powerful as heck. The next reel is the Boss Extreme 500 reel. This is my go-to bottom fishing rod. So I use this rod all the time I'm fishing on the bottom. I also have it spooled with braid, so that way I can really feel what's going on down there. I can also feel the bite a lot better. All right, next up, we got the Boss Extreme 600 Narrow. This is our go-to kite rod. Uh, it's narrow, so it fits nice in the trident, and has 47 inches per crank retrieval. That means I crank this thing once, 47 inches come in. If you guys do any sail fishing with the kites or kingfish tournaments, you know that that's very, very important. So this is really our go-to uh, reel for those things. Now, I just want to mention, we're not going on all the specifics uh, for lines per crank for each reel and the drag and all that kind of stuff. All that information is, of course, is on their website. We've got the description down below. And we're going to a seminar, so we don't want to bore you guys to death. We know a lot of you guys are concerned when it comes to the price of combos, reels, and rods, etc. And this particular reel is very reasonably priced. This is the Boss Fury 400, and this is a single drag series that they made. So it's at a very affordable price point, and you still get the quality from Accurate, and it's made in the USA. So you can't beat it. I love this reel for bottom fishing, too. Okay, and lastly in our arsenal of our accurate reels, we have the Boss Extreme 30. This is a trolling two-speed powerhouse, and in fact, this is the reel that I broke the engine on. If you've been watching the videos, you can see it's not even spooled up yet, but this thing got unspooled and, and it broke off and made a big noise and I blew the engine. Anyway, that's another video from yesterday. Uh, but we love this for trolling. It's a great all-around trolling stick and uh, just kills it. It's got two speed, smooth as heck. We've never had any problem with any of these reels uh, over a year and a half, and I'm not that good with maintenance. I just spray them off with the hose. Uh, so, that's, you know, so that's really it. We got two of these. We got three of the kite reels. We're rolling. We got a couple of these uh, SR6s. And again, we're going to be going down to the seminar right now, and we're going to hear a little bit more from Ben and, and, uh, and the rest of the reps uh, at Accurate. On our ride to the seminar, just real quick, but do any of you guys know it is anything different about Brian's hair? Anything at all? Okay, so I dyed my hair. There's no shame in my game. It's very gray. It's genetic. Darcy likes it dyed. I've been dying it for years, but I have a lot of hair is the important part. So guys, don't have any shame. You gotta dye your hair. If your lady likes it like that, then you go ahead. No big deal. So. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep dyeing it or not dye it? <laughs> well, I tell you what, you're just gonna see one ugly spot on the screen. That's all it's gonna be. No. Okay. It's Ben Seacrest here from Accurate, and I'm in Florida, and look who I have next to me, Dar Sizzle. So if you guys wanna check us out, where are we at? We are at Chaos Fishing Rods here in Pompano Beach. We got an upcoming seminar at 7 o'clock, so come on down. Ben Seacrest is going to be talking all about accurate reels. One thing that we push real hard right now, 
than that small reel big fish. When it comes to maintenance for us, we kind of just you know wash down the reels. We don't really actually take them apart and clean them. And you know to this very day, all my reels are perfectly fine. All of them, all the clickers are good. Everything is you know ready to go. There's equal amount of pressure on each side of the spool. So there's there's an actual drag washer on one side of the spool and one on the other. There's two friction plates on each side. So instead of a regular reel, a single drag reel will push sideways. It distorts the spool inside the frame because there's nothing that's pushing the other way. This pushes equal amount of pressure and puts the spool directly in the middle of the frame. I love the reels, they're super smooth. For kite fishing, they're the best. Um, I mean, you can bring in a sailfish so fast, it's unbelievable. All the reels we make come in both single and two-speed models. The thing about the Valiant is the twins were able to go and take a lot of material out of this and you're gonna see a new one of these coming. This weighs 9.9 .9 ounces, weighs absolutely nothing, but it puts out 25 pounds of drag. All right, I'm using the sport fishing simulator here at Chaos. This will be my first time. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Get him to the boat. Get him to the boat. <laughs> Yep. That is so cool. It really feels like a fish. It does, right? Especially the bumping up first. And the head shakes, too, yeah. are really, like, very realistic. John is the winner of the pretty, brand new, <laughs> accurate Fury. All right, guys, we're back from the uh, seminar. It was a great time. Uh, thanks for following along. I'm um, sorry the video wasn't that great today. Um, we had a, you know, this is what we did, we did today with the seminar, showed you our reels. And I just wanted to say, you know, after yesterday's video about the boat and the uh, big uh, $12,000 repair job, uh, you know, you guys really uh, said a lot of nice things in there and a lot of things to think about. You know, uh, I do have an attitude of gratitude, and uh, a lot of that has to do with you folks and all the great support. So, again, thank you very much. We uh, really appreciate it. And uh, tomorrow we're going fishing. And so uh, we're going to get back on track with some fishing. We're going bass fishing. And over to Darcy. Yeah, thank you very much for cheering Brian up. That was very helpful. Sorry I'm very echoey. This house is very <laughs> echoey. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, thank you for all the comments. You guys are the best. You guys blew up the video in the comment section, so good job. Um, so sorry this video is a little boring, but we're back to fishing. Like Brian said, we're doing some bass fishing tomorrow, hopefully. Catch some big lunker bass. So I'm excited for that. So stay tuned for our next video, and um, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.